hello everyone welcome back to our wonderful channel thank you all for always stopping by in today's video i want to share with us a recipe you should use to take your baths if you find it difficult to sleep as a result of witchcraft attack as a result of evil manipulations as a result of bad dreams as a result of depression most of you while you are unable to sleep is depression you are thinking of so many things so many things goes into your head once you lie down on your bed some of you take sleeping pills every day before you're able to close your eyes some of you they keep tormenting you that is why you're unable to sleep if you're facing any of these and more please do this assignment and by the grace of god you'll be able to sleep you'll be able to have a sound sleep you'll be able to overcome any form of spiritual and physical attack but in case you're seeing it for the first time or you're seeing my face for the first time you're highly welcome can you hit the red subscribe button to make yourself a full member of this family like my videos share my videos and if you're a returning subscriber you know i appreciate that keep supporting the channel by liking my videos and sharing my videos so i want to quickly tell us what you should use to take your bath every night before you sleep to say no to any form of witchcraft attack to say goodbye to evil manipulations to say goodbye to bad dreams to say goodbye to terrible and horrible experience at night most of you why you are unable to succeed in this life is because of too much manipulations you get a new job today the next day you have been sacked you have been fired without any reason simply because you have been monitored you have been you have been uh, you have been under serious spiritual surveillance they monitor you as if you're watching your cctv every step you make they have seen it spiritually so if this thing is, is what you're facing all you need to get for me is lemon you can get this is a native lemon so you can get the agri one if it's the one you have the yellow one this is a native one this is the one i have here in my house then another thing is onion okay yes onion these are the two things you need to battle them once and for all say goodbye bye say goodbye to witches and wizard even if they live in your neighborhood they will run away even if the owner of the building is a witch lord the person will run away for you note when you start taking your bath with this a lot of temptations will come physically because we all know that the spiritual controls the physical so when you defeat them spiritually they may decide to come physically to attack you because they can no longer have access to you spiritually do not fight them do not even exchange words with them all you need to do is to thank god almighty for exposing them for winning the battle spiritually physical battle is something you can overcome but spiritual battle you may not be able to overcome it if you're not spiritually strong somebody may slap you you know that when you retaliate that is when the fight will come but somebody will slap you just ignore the person the person will be scared if you leave the person knows you as a tiger the person will be scared you will just tell the person you slapped me you just walk away the person will be scared let me tell you a secret it's not about fighting there is a way to utter to somebody the person will not sleep for years because he will be scared that something may happen to him in the night everything is not about running your mouth somebody may slap you just when you slap me <laughs> you smile and go away that person will have restless nights he will start telling people i don't know i slapped this person and she did not retaliate you will, you will see the fear in that person whenever he sees whenever you see the person just smile and pass the person will be scared so what you need to do get your lemon slice it into four places get your onion slice it into four places you'll be needing three of these and three of these but if you cannot have three you can use one the way i'm holding it okay so when you get it slice into four boil it together with enough water that will be enough to take your bath after boiling it take it to your bathroom you sieve it allow it to cool down a bit to the temperature you can tolerate when baiting some people bait with a very cold water some bait with warm some bait with cold so allow it to be in the temperature that your body can accept 
Sivert those onion and the lemon that you boiled. Boil it till you know it's soft or tender for like 15 to 20 minutes, depending. So you sieve it out, keep it to cool. When it's, it is okay for you to pour your body, go to your bathroom. Do not wear slippers. Do not wear any jewelry. If you're the type that don't remove your wedding ring like mine, please try and remove it. Try as much as you can to remove. Don't just be the way God created you. If your your hair is long or you put an artificial hair, please try and remove it. Let it be your natural hair. Okay, if you're not on low cut like me, make sure you're wearing your natural hair. If you're weaving a carrying artificial hair the way I'm carrying now, try to remove it. Because I want you to be the way God created you as you're taking this part. Then your prayer will be, God, I am here to surrender my life to you. I am here for your protection. I am here for your guidance. I want you to be my shepherd. Every man, every woman tormenting my life, spiritually and physically, let them go down for my sake. If you want them to confess, let them confess. If you want them to die, whatever you want, say it as you're praying. Tell God to protect you in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night. Tell God to protect you on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Tell God to protect you in January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Every day of your life that he should protect you from these warlords. From these witches and wizards surrounding you. From these people monitoring you. Most of you, they monitor you through flies. There is a lady that came to my house sometime, I think before Christmas. She has been disturbing me. She came to celebrate Christmas in, in, my, in Nigeria. So she visited. She, was, she has been disturbing when she was in her city, in her country, in the country she was. I don't want to mention the country. The day she stepped into my house, you need to see flies hovering all over her head. I don't know whether it's a physical, I don't know whether people with physical eye can see it. But immediately I saw it, I shouted. I told her, if you see the demons that followed you to my house, she said she knows. That day, it was not an easy thing. The cleansing I did in my house, I will never try that again. Yes. So these are the things people see every day. You will see flies following you. Sometimes it's lizard. Anywhere you go, you'll be seeing lizard. You think it's a, a normal thing. No. They are monitoring you every second of, their, of your life. So use this method to put an end to it. Tell God to blind every monitoring spirit monitoring you. That as from today, no man, no woman will be able to see you in any spiritual mirror. Anybody that call your name in any evil altar, let that altar scatter today in the mighty name of Jesus. Take that water, take your bath. Don't use soap, don't use sponge. Don't away dry your body. Just go to bed. This should be the last bath you will take before going to bed. You can do your normal bath. You know, enjoy yourself. Once you want to sleep, do this. Do it for at least seven days. You can do it for 14 days. You can do it for 21 days. You can do it throughout the one, but make sure you do it seven days straight. You can use this, the, this water after boiling it twice. Then you discard and make a fresh one. By the special grace of God, you must see changes in your life. So try this simple assignment and make sure you come back for your testimony. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.